Jambo, jambo bwana, habari gani? Nzuri sana. Oh, wageni wetu. Wageni, mwakaribishwa. Kenya yetu hakuna matatu. Oh, Kenya nchi nzuri. What I'd like to put across is a fact that no one can change Africa. Africa is a third world continent. There's, there's pain, there's suffering, there's drought, there's famine. Many, many bad things are happening in Africa. And I'm trying to do some small things in a small school in Kenya, which is going to benefit, hopefully, lots and lots of children. How did you first get to know the people at Rocker? I'm lucky enough to own a house in Kenya. And the guy who looks after my house when I'm not in Kenya, his family have a plot, a house in the village of Rocker. Can you describe to me what Rocker is like and what most impressed you about your visit there? Rocker is a very, very rural community. It's probably an hour north of Mombasa and 25 miles south of Malindi. It's a very widespread village, it's not compact. And it consists of mainly, I think, two to three thousand people. And the primary school has between eight and nine hundred kids. It's a very beautiful village, no electricity, and only one water tap for the whole village. When I first visited the school, I was completely taken back because it's very, very primitive. Cinder block walls, um, rusting corrugated roof, no windows, just gaps, and predominantly dirt floors, eight small toilets for 900 kids and no running water. So what did you do to help them? <clears throat> when I first went to the school, there's, as I said, between eight and 900 kids and there was only about 20 desks um, for the whole school. So they're sharing desks in a class and the rest of the kids are sitting on the, dirt and the dust. So being a builder and being quite practical, I thought I could build some desks for the school. A small thing to do, and that's why I started this project, just by building initially a few desks. You told me that on one of your visits there, something bad happened. Can you tell me some more about that? Yeah, as I said, I'm lucky enough to own a house in Kenya, and on one of my visits in 2006, in February, my house burned down um, completely. Well, on that visit, I planned to build some more desks, um, I had the funding or some funds in place which people had kindly given me from England. So I did, after I tidied the, what I could have of the wreck and the ruins, to still do the desks. So probably a week later, uh, I went to the rocker school and I started to build the desks that I had the funding to do at that time. Can you tell us why you are particularly keen to help the school at Rocker? <clears throat> I can give the, the, the village I can give them maybe some corn, some some seeds to grow, but if the rains fail, that, that's gone. If I could give them some goats or some cows, the goats can get stolen. They'll eat the goats, the goats could die. But if you give kids education, I feel it's something that's with them forever. What are you currently doing to help them? At the moment, we're doing several things but the main thing is or the first thing is we're doing a fundraising gig at Tindrick Village Hall. They can get involved initially by coming to the gig which would be wonderful. Tickets are just six pounds or they can just donate money. Um, every pound, every penny, every five pounds, every ten pounds goes directly to Rocker, goes directly to the kids in the school and it will improve their lives. So if anyone can help it would be wonderful. How can people find out more information about the Rocker School Project? Okay, we're on Facebook. We've got a Facebook page. Um, you just search for the Rocker School Project. You can email. Uh, we've got a Rocker School email address now, which is rockerschool2012 at ovi.com. Rocker is a very, very small school. It's a tiny village. It's in a big country and it's on a massive continent. We can help it. Just these small things that we do improve the kids' lives, and that's what we're having to do with the Rocker School. Project. <laughs>